This is my secret strategy to follow up with new leads. And it's by using videos just like this. You're in the case study. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how I follow up with leads using videos. And we do this all sorts of ways on our website, on YouTube, on social media, but it's a way to build trust. And I always say, how can I shake your hand through the computer? And today I'm gonna break it down for you right here in this little notepad I put together. So this is what we do. We make videos that educate. We send people to our site. We remind them on YouTube and we remind them on social media. Now, none of these videos are sales. It's all about education. Just like today's video. I don't want you to buy anything from me. I just want you to learn from this and go implement it. Because if you implement it and see results, you're going to be coming back and giving me a high five. And if you want to stick till the end, I'm going to share a video at the end to break down exactly how to make your first YouTube video so you can build relationships with your clients. All right, so let's dive in. So it all starts with an educational piece, and I'm going to point that out right here. This educational piece is like a how to or a what is. I go to Google and I say, what are some things that my potential customers might be typing into Google that I can teach them and help them with? I think of myself as the college professor. Got a room full of students. I'm teaching you how to make some videos, how to follow up with leads with videos. Hopefully you learn from it and we break it down like that. But what would you search for to actually find my video? So we use tools like ChatGPT and different SEO tools, but really my best ones are Google. Go to Google, see what people are typing in. So I make a video. It's a how-to video. I recently bought a grill and I went to YouTube and I, or Google and I said, how to grill a hamburger on this grill. First thing that showed up was a YouTube video. I watched a video. I learned from the guy. I subscribed. Boom. Now I see his videos everywhere. That's what you can do for your business. Create a how-to video teaching something, and then you can always direct them back to your website. But what's cool is as soon as someone watches one YouTube video of yours, YouTube will start recommending them to your other YouTube videos. So now if somebody goes to Google, they look for how to automate their website. They see my YouTube video. Now the next time they're on YouTube, they'll see one of my other YouTube videos, maybe even this one. Give me a thumbs up in the comments if you found this one from a recommended video from one of my last videos. That'd be cool to see, right? A live case study here. But either way, the links in the videos say go to my website. So now I have a new lead. They either find me on YouTube, they find me somewhere, they've seen a video of mine. Now YouTube's gonna start recommending that. Now it's gonna work vice versa. Somebody hears about me in a different way. Maybe they find me on Google search. Maybe they find me from a referral and they go to my website right here. Well, in my website, I've got a YouTube video. So maybe they haven't seen a video yet. So they go to the website, they watch one of the YouTube videos. And from there, next time they're on YouTube, they're going to see a recommended YouTube video. Now, the whole key with follow up is so people don't forget about you. So I call it the famous follow up. Will your leads remember you? Because no one's ready to buy today, but they'll be ready to buy next week, next month, or next year. And if you're the one providing value through these videos, building a relationship through these videos, they'll come back and they'll work with you. Okay. They come to the website or they watch one of your videos. YouTube's going to start recommending your videos. Well, another thing you want to do is once you get somebody on your email list, we want to invite them to follow you on social media. So as an example, somebody joins my email list in the signature of my email says, go watch my YouTube video. So then they can go watch my YouTube video. And it's like that repeat cycle. A lot of times uh, what we do for our clients is they're really popular on Instagram. So in that first email, we always invite people to go follow them on Instagram and then they're going to start seeing their posts. So now they see a video from them. Then they see a post from them. Then they see another post from them. And then they see a YouTube video from them. And then they're reminded with another video somewhere. So now you're becoming famous with these videos. And that's what I want to teach you for your business. Start creating educational videos. They're not to make sales. You make a video just to stay top of mind and to show that you are the expert in your industry. Then make another video that's going to remind them of you. Make another video and the algorithm will remind them of you. And eventually when they're ready to buy all of these videos, they link back to your product page or a scheduled call or something of value that you can give them for free, like a lead magnet. But the goal is you want them to see you everywhere. The more people see you, the more they trust you. 
the more you educate them, the more of an authority you look, the more they see you over and over and over, the more famous you are, and they're going to choose you over your competitors. So are you nervous making videos? Would you make a video for your brand? You technically just need one algorithm will follow your leads around everywhere with that video, but I recommend making them consistently providing value, educating them. Now, if you're going to want to start making videos, check out this video I'm going to post right here. And I'll kind of walk you through on how I was nervous to make videos for six months. I tried every day, every day, every day. I kept talking myself out of it, but eventually I finally made one. It was awful, but I got a lead from it. Then I made another video just as bad, got another lead from it. So you get clients, you get leads from videos. You don't need millions of views and you don't need to be perfect. You can make mistakes. I made a few mistakes already in this video, but I'm just trying to educate and help you, hoping you take one of these tips, you actually implement it for yourself. So I'll post that video again here, go grab it. And if you need any help, of course, let me know. And I'd love to have you on my newsletter down below. That way you can see how my videos follow you around everywhere and copy and paste it for your business. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.